Hi everyone! Hello again. We um, updated some people on our Instagram. If you didn't see it, we did have to swap the order of rooms we're doing. So now we are not in our mountain room. We are in our solar system room. So I'll take you around really quick in just a minute, show you what we're starting to work on, as well as like the blank slate of the room. But it is solar system. We have a lot of ideas. We're working so fast today. We have to. Our goal is to get it done today. Yes. So. Let's go. About the same what changes room to room is the accent color so the last room we were in these top walls here were purple and it was really cute really light and airy this one happens to be a darker color so we picked the solar system room and we actually chose a background color that was a little bit more suitable for space so we have like this light gray slate blue and then we have Stephanie starting the mural already in that corner. We're gonna be doing the sun right there. And we have another wall here. That'll be student work. And like I said, the same shape as before. All right, hair is up. We are getting deeper into the painting. Um, we did already get started. So basically, I don't know if you can tell behind me, it is a straight shot down all the way from the, this room, all the way down the hall to the front of the school and actually the entrance. So this wall is really important to us because people will see it. These doors are always open. Um, so they'll look all the way down the hall and see this painting. So it's it was really important to us to have like locked in like good inspiration pictures, pictures and stuff like that. So let me show you um, what it looks like so far really quick. I just wanna show you uh, by no means, I mean, yes, we're professionals, but by no means do we have years and years of experience in mur mural painting, but this is kind of how um, we go about mixing the paint just because, um, you know, to stay on a good budget, you just gotta mix your own colors. Let me go ahead and show you guys the progress so far. So this, this is the solar system room. I don't know if we mentioned that, but this um, is the sun. As you can see, we painted um, just a base um, yellow coat and then took a sponge and added some orange and yellow on top to give some texture. We went ahead and um, drew out and then traced with paint um, the flames that'll go around the sun and we're just doing really light strokes to give it kind of that more fire effect. So that is what we're working on now. All right, so Stephanie said she's working on the mural, but she can't get very far without knowing where the quote is going to be. So the first step on my to-do list is to get that quote up for her so she knows where to put the planets around. So we're using the quote, if you shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you will land among the stars. So it's a quite a lengthy quote. And um, we've got three lines. And then instead of using a black vinyl because we use a darker background paint, we're using a white vinyl. I'm gonna show you the setup I have here. Basically, I'm gonna be cutting 15, 24 inch mats. So it's going to take uh, just a minute to get them cut. We did it on transfer tape. Favorite parts about these pods are these long countertops. It's great for workspace for us, but we have the cricket rolling and we have pad, um, mats ready to go. We're ready to put them on transfer tape and then the quote will go um, center of this board and once again it'll give Stephanie kind of an idea of what she can work around. Okay, so um, we have been painting and painting and painting. So we went ahead and painted the sun. Um, first and foremost, like we said before, this area can be seen all the way down the hall. So this is what we kind of started with. Administration was on campus for a while and we just wanted to kind of 
let them know what they'd be seeing. You could see here, you got another planet up and halfway through that one. So good progress, but we gotta keep pushing. Hello everyone, it's been a few hours since we've updated you, so we're just going to give you a quick idea of what just happened the last few hours. I finished cutting all the vinyl, I'll show you guys in a minute. I actually got it on the wall, and um, we were missing some things as we discussed at the beginning of this vlog. We didn't have all of our printing done, so I went to go to Office Max to get it printed, picked up some lunch, grabbed some other things that we thought we might run out of because we're gonna be working into the night and stores will close way before we leave here. So, got that stuff done. We wanna show you what the wall looks like so far. All right, so we have a couple more planets done. You can see right behind me, we got this cutie, and then this one down here. Here we got Mars. Um, a easy tip for if you're trying to like add texture to a um, painting is you can either use like a sponge like this or even just wad up a paper towel, get it into a little bit of paint and just dab away. That'll help you add some texture. But basically, we're trying to get this wall done. We're getting pretty close. All right, we are back to update. Um, we are in our workflow for sure. So you can see behind me that we've taped off and painted another like white, white bulletin board section. This is gonna be another place for um, the teachers to use to um, display student work. So we're just starting off with a white rectangle just like in the last room. I'm so excited for this board. It is gonna be so stinking cute. We have so many cute ideas for it and we can't wait to show you what it's gonna turn out like. Um, but while that's drying, I am going to work on putting up the alphabet line. Um, we have a custom alphabet line that we uh, made that'll be up in our uh, Teacher Space Teacher Store um, that looks like this. It's super adorable. So I'm gonna put it up same way as in the last room. I'm probably just gonna do the two rows, um, 13 in each row. So it's gonna go above the whiteboard here and we will show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, as you can see, alphabet line is up and finished. And I'm on to my next project. So here we have the board that we showed earlier, painted, I pulled off the tape, and I'm putting a border. We chose to use a sparkly black and silver tool, both purchased from Hobby Lobby, Michaels has them too, and um, this is just a great alternative to a paper border. Um, all you do is you just cut, these are eight pieces um, cut into a length that about is about half the board, and then I just um, staple in the middle, staple at the bottom, and then um, I'm gonna go all the way around and do the same thing, so it'll look super cute when it's done. All right, fam, let me show you the progress. We have one more planet going right there. It's Neptune, it'll be Neptune. But let me flip you around so you can see. Let me update you. We've got Saturn, it's drying well, before we put on the rings. We've got a little cute Venus down here. Fun thing with that to give it some more detail. Um, I just flipped paint on it, which is a fun technique. Um, really quick, we wanted to show you guys um, kind of like our paint setup because we've had a couple people from the school drop in and they're just curious about like if they wanted to paint, if we had any um, suggestions, which is like really nice. Um, but basically we went to Walmart because they had the cheapest paint at the time that we were looking for and we just ended up buying basically every primary color, um, well not primary color, every color of the rainbow, um, in a quart size, and then we've been mixing every single color. That has gone so far, we're almost done with the second mural, and we are not even a quarter into these quart size paints, and that is saving us so much money, as opposed to like if we bought a teal, if we bought a navy, if we bought three shades of purple, um, so, we would highly recommend you just buying, you know, as few colors as you need and then mixing it just to save money, especially if you're doing work like this. Like, how many colors have we used? Like, so many. So, anyways, just a little tip.
All right, hello, and here for an update. A little while ago, I hung this metal, um, I think it's actually a curtain rod um, from Ikea, and it comes with these metal clips, um, and this is the kind of the industrial look we're going with in the space room for um, the teachers to hang work. It was like very tedious, and I was short-tempered on it, so I do have two more rows to go here and here, so I'm gonna take breaks, so. While I'm waiting, I'm working on something else. I am cutting out these gold stars from this paper we got from Michael's. We were kind of annoyed because in the package, wait, let me show you the package. It's very deceiving. We picked up the package and we we're like elated because we we're like, oh look, gold. And it's got both sides are gold. Like that's awesome. Like you don't have to worry about the backside showing. And then we opened the package. Turns out it's not gold on the other side. So we're gonna create these 3D stars to put on the mural, but we're gonna have to back them on each other and figure it out. It'll still work, it's just an extra step. So that's what I'm working on, and I will switch over to Stephanie and let you know what she's working on. All right, so super excited, the mural is done, finally. But if you want to see it in its amazing glory, you're gonna have to watch till the end and the final reveal. But what we've moved on to is <sighs> these cute little Martians. Let me just show you really quick. Like little aliens. Um, so they're going to be peeking out from this student work board that L'Oreal painted. And she was in the middle of putting up um, this beautiful tool. And it looks amazing. Like you can see this side right here is done. And I to um, we totally forgot that if I'm painting, that probably should be out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and help her out by getting that done <laughs> so she can finish the board. But um, yeah, we're going to paint these little buddies in. I just looked at a clip art, a couple clip arts, actually. We look for a lot of inspiration. Um, and then we kind of tie things together or embellish a little bit. But yeah, just freehanded those on the wall. It's kind of hard. Can you hear this? It's like a textured wallpaper, so that makes things a little difficult. But... Excited to paint them. They'll hopefully be really cute. All right, it is getting deeper into the evening and we are still here working. And um, it's been a minute since we've picked up the camera. So we're gonna update you guys on what we have done, where we're moving, what we're doing, and here's what we have. The tool border. It is sparkly as ever. And then Stephanie did finish the cute Martians on the side. I honestly think they're so stinking cute. And um, we have this little guy here, and I see a plug there. So I want you guys to tune in to the final reveal to see this baby lit up. It is adorable, and you guys have to see it. Okay, I am back on the floor where I belong. And um, we have moved on from the Martians. You can see them behind me. They are so cute. Hi, guys. Um, and we <laughs> were just laughing at my baby talk. Um, I have moved on to an astronaut. Um, so he's waving. Say hi, guys. There you go. Um, I started with the white. I don't know why. I don't know. It's the majority of the color there. I'm adding all the detail on top. It shouldn't be, honestly, too much longer. You can see I just have, like, patches um, or accessories um, that have to be filled in for this cute guy. There's obviously going to be no face because he's mysterious. Um, but yeah, as soon as this guy's done, uh, we're moving on to the last student work board. So we are getting close, even though it is very late. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Bye, guys. Alrighty, so... We um, are going to be installing some more of the um, clips and whatnot from Ikea, those like wire strings and stuff. But we don't want it to be totally plain back here because I guess I should show you. This is behind this giant column. And so when you walk into the room, you cannot see anything behind it. So at first we were like, do we just like do a small gallery wall that's like quaint but cute we weren't sure but obviously student work is most important so we're gonna hang more of those clips over here but just to kind of give it a little love we went ahead and painted this like comet star cluster situation right over here um yeah turned out okay all right we're getting down to like our last major to-do list this was one of them 
These frames um, are from Ikea. And the cool thing about these, um, they're cheap frames. And Ikea makes them cheap because they have plastic instead of glass. These are great for classrooms and schools because if this get knocked off the wall, you're not gonna have broken glass on the floor. No one's gonna be hurt. It's got a plastic covering. So anytime Stephanie and I hang frames in our room, we go to Ikea, buy the cheap ones, and we make sure that they have the plastic um, covering instead of the glass filler here. So we just hung up the planets, embellished with some stars, and voila. All right, we're back on the floor. So our next um, project was we found some inspo on Pinterest. We like spent a long time looking for how do we make a rocket? And they were some, we just didn't find a way that was like really durable because that's what we care about is decorating to last. And so we ended up going a more simple route than like stacking like containers and like wrapping them like in contact paper and like hot gluing them. We found like a really simple silhouette that we liked and so this is what we're gonna be hanging up next, but it was super easy to make and very cute. Look at the little rocket. So we just got that um, like project board from Hobby Lobby. It was black um, and we're gonna spray paint it with glitter, but we just um, drew out, like I said, that simple silhouette of a rocket that we found. And then to make it 3D, we went ahead and just um, did the same shape. Um, I don't even know what you call those, not wings. But we did the same shape, we cut them out, and then we just made that little divot right here. Hold on, let me show you. So that this can slide in and out. I don't know if you can see that. See, it slides out. But um, we will be hot gluing it in place because like we said, we're hanging this and we just want it to be able to last. And then we're spray painting it with glitter. It's gonna be really cute. And then those beautiful stars L'Oreal made are gonna be hanging next to it. So just like imagine how amazing that's gonna look. Hey guys, we are about to go out and spray paint the rocket. It is already black, which we like, because it's supposed to have like that whole like silhouette look, except for we want it to um, shine bright like a diamond, so. <laughs> YouTube life. We're using this glitter spray paint, and I have like four masks stacked right now because my dad gave me a hard time about breathing in chemicals for the baby. So. Let's get spraying. All right, I'm gonna try to match the excitement of Stephanie's last updates because she had so much energy. <laughs> But I am super excited that I finished my last two hanging wires from Ikea. These are not easy to put up. And I'll be happy if I never have to do it again. But it's right underneath Stephanie's amazing comment. And basically the rest of the room is just going to be a surprise. We're adding final touches everywhere around. And our final reveal will be very soon. So stay tuned. All right. We are done. But the last thing that we put up was this planet protectors section of the uh, room. This is the social skill in this room that we kind of brought light to is how you can protect our planet. So there's different things you can see there. Um, little tips that they can read and remember as they go through their day. Can't wait to show you the pod. All right, so we are ready to show you the grand reveal. So without further ado, welcome to outer space. <laughs>
guys love this room as much as we did, let us know in the comments below what your favorite part is. If you are not already subscribed, make sure you're subscribed to our channel to see all of our projects and many DIY tutorials. Um, if you enjoyed our vlog, give it a giant thumbs up and we, we hope, hope to see, see you guys, guys soon. soon.